Hey guys, I received a lot of questions and comments uh, on my video about the K40 laser engraving metal and uh, some of you said that it's a, very, it's a very bad idea actually to engrave or cut very reflective uh, materials due to the risk that the laser beam gets reflected off the working piece back to your, um, well, over the lens um, to your laser tube and it might destroy it. Now, I made a big research on Google on that, but I couldn't find any real statement that says that it might destroy it, or there is a risk that the laser destroys itself due to reflections. Maybe if you can hook me up with a link or something, that would be awesome. But on the other hand, uh, I thought I should try something on my own to see what really happens when you start or when you try to engrave uh, some reflective, reflective materials. So the question is, can you destroy your laser by engraving reflective materials? Okay, so first of all, I will put on my laser goggles. Okay, so I have a little laser pointer here, green laser pointer. Um, and I have a clip here that I can put on so the laser just stays on and I will put this around here then I have a little wood chip just to straighten this out so the beam will be more or less straight now I recently bought myself a kit of old used laser mirrors from eBay for very cheap so these come in handy right now as I want to recreate actually the same setup that we have in our K40 laser. Now I have one of those uh, vape things just to make a little haze to make the beam visible. There you can see. Okay, so I'm trying to recreate here the same exact thing that happens in our laser. Um, we have the tube, we have the first mirror which is somewhere over here. We have the second mirror, which is on the little cart, which uh, moves. And now what we need is our laser lens. This is the original lens that came with the K40 laser. I switched, I swapped them out once. I made a video about that. Well, it actually was the first video of the K40 laser where I showed that I upgraded the laser hat when, I, when I'm right, I think so. Um, nonetheless, this is like um, just a piece of aluminium and uh, you have the lens fitted inside of it. So this is the original lens, the K40 came with it. And I use just this thing here just to keep it in place. So we might need a little bit more haze. Okay. I took a little piece of paper. I made a little hole in it in the same height as our laser. So this is just to better see if light gets back deflected, reflected into our laser source or at least near it or around it. Okay, so now everything is nicely aligned. Um, we have our laser or our laser pointer now, but our laser tube in theory. We have two mirrors and we have our laser lens, which is focusing the beam um, to our working material. Uh, as a working material I use another laser mirror, something like this. A laser mirror difference um, to a regular mirror that as the reflective um, coating is not on the back side but it's on the front so we lose way less intensity um, in things of reflections. Now I put my working piece like this just to see you see it's a nice it gives a nice reflection here now what will happen when i turn this over and um, send it straight back to the lens let's see okay so i have my mirror here and now i'm turning it straight into straight into the lens there we are okay so i don't know if you see that there is not that much happening. Let me pull focus on the target over there. When I move the laser or the mirror, well with the naked eye you see a very little deflection. I will try if I can get this closer in shot. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this, but there is a very tiny little dot of light that gets deflected 
or reflect it back into the direction of the laser tube. It's not straight pointing at the actual laser source. In my opinion, this should be not a real issue of destroying your laser tube or something. I mean, um, this is sure up to you what you believe in or uh, how careful you are with your laser, but it's a risk that I might um, be able to uh, go in uh, when it comes to reflections. I don't think that this will make any harm or this has any real consequences for your laser tube. Also we are testing this out now with a real laser mirror which is like one of the high or most reflective surfaces you can have and even with that there is just a tiny little dot which already which is not in focus either um, it is widely spread it so in my opinion there is no way this can affect your laser okay guys so this is it for my little experiment here as I said for my opinion I can live with a little light that gets reflected over a couple of mirrors and unfocused and falls back onto my laser tube I don't think it will harm it um, I don't want to recommend to you this thing but for me personally I can live with the risk also I don't know if it's because it's a green laser but even the lens reflects a nice amount of light back which is not hitting the mirror but it's hitting the base of it and I mean you know this can also destroy your laser in the worst case so I can live with this thing. If you like those videos, I made a couple of um, K40 uh, laser videos and I all threw them together in a nice playlist. You can check that out on my uh, channel um, or click uh, on the link on the upper right hand corner and uh, watch those videos as well. Also you can uh, subscribe and ring this little bell so you see when I upload a new video about something that concerns maybe the K40 laser or maybe, maybe something else I'm doing in my life. <laughs> Um, Alright, that was it. Until then, see ya!